I'm Bill Poet, creator of the Warrior Heart Project, and welcome back to our six-step elemental empowerment cycle. Today we're focusing on step five, the wind element, and I've brought you up to this mountaintop because it's a perfect place to talk to you about step five, which is massive, intelligent, enjoyable action. This is the final resting place of my sister Susan. She died when she was 46 years old. My first wife Wendy is buried right next to her. She died when she was 42. These women have lost the ability to move in the world. They've lost the ability to take action, to connect, to love, to feel. And so this step in our six step process is vital. It's where we use all of our resources to go out into the world and make a difference, have an impact. So let's review how we've gotten here. In step one, we are connecting with the void. We are connecting with our highest self and our soul purpose. And we're asking the question between now and my last breath, what matters most? What turns me on? What fulfills me? And every day in step one, I'm connecting to my soul purpose. I'm connecting to what matters. In step two, the earth element. I take this intangible idea, I take this imagining of a better life, and I bring it down into the earth and I set it in stone. Your goals are not wishes, they're not wants. They are visceral, tangible things. I will, I intend to. So in step two, we take this vision, we drive it into the earth element, we set our goals in stone, we make it real and solid. In step three, we shift into the water element and water is the realm of our intellect. And just like the ocean is fluid and detached and always in motion, our intellect has the ability for clear, perfect thought and to understand and to reason. And we can look at and look for the perfect solutions to our problems. In the water element, we are getting answers and we are training. In step four, the fire element, I'm looking into my heart and I'm asking the question, why? Today, each one of us is one step closer to dead. And the way you spend your time, the way you spend your breath matters more than you can possibly realize. And if I'm gonna spend my life in a career with people doing things, God, make sure they matter. And so in the fire element, I'm connecting to why what I'm doing is essential. This is how I, I ensure the fact that I'm fully engaged and I'm honoring my soul purpose. In step five, the wind element, just as the earth is perfectly grounded, I can feel the wind moving across my body. Wind element is complete free movement. I have a lot of beautiful friends and they are very spiritual and they spend a lot of time in prayer and meditation and visualization and that's great, but they get stuck there. They, they don't move through the rest of the elements. They don't move through the rest of the process. And you can meditate and you can pray until the cows come home and you will die poor and you will die hungry. We have to use our bodies and we have to use our power and we have to get out into the world while we can and we have to take massive, intelligent, enjoyable action. This is the wind element. This is the act of living. This is getting off the couch. It's engaging in life with our family and friends. It's leaving our thumbprint on the world before we pass. It's our chance to have an impact. It's our chance to touch, love, feel, and know joy. So just like the wind element is perfect free motion, in my life it is the getting up and it is the doing. So think about this, massive, intelligent, enjoyable action. Then our final step, which we're gonna look at in the next video, is step six. I reconnect with the void. I look at the results I'm creating and I wanna make sure that I am fulfilled, that I am in joy and that I am loving. I can't emphasize this enough. All of us come with an expiration date. When the sun sets tonight, we are all one step closer to dying and I wanna make sure that I savored 
today, that I enjoy today, that I had a positive impact on the world around me, that I lived in love and I didn't live in fear. And that's what the Warrior Heart Project is about. I am so thrilled to have you with me. I am so humbled and honored to be a, a voice and a vessel to bring this knowledge back into the world. And I'm really looking forward to our next training tape. As I feel this wind move across my body, I just want to say thank you. I want you to live and love fearlessly. And welcome to the Warrior Heart Project. I'll see you at our next training. And I will keep training and keep giving you everything I have for as long as there's breath in my body. I'm Bill Poet. Thank you and have a great, great evening.